send my comments to the Lord. <laughs> Okay, this is where you would um, actually stand here and sell the tickets um, for the clients for the Davis Cup and any other big matches that were held at Milton. Um, and the good old toilet roll holder, <laughs> that's where your tickets hung. So you'd, you'd just stand here and just serve the, serve the customers and that was all road frontage, that would be the footpath out yeah, there. Yeah, that's Milton Road and the footpath. Yes. I remember coming to see Ken who was in the Davis Cup team when the Challenge Round Final was held at Milton in 62 and I can remember queuing up because there were thousands and thousands of people, there were 22,000 people in the North on that day and queuing up to get a ticket to see my mate in the Davis Cup team. Yeah, lovely. With and Emerson. Hi, my name's Ian McCauley and this is my wife Judy. And uh, we're proud uh, to be part of the, uh, the presentation. Uh, Here the start of the 1940 tennis trophy. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Peter Racer here from Fruit Park YouTube channel. And I'm here this afternoon with Vian McCauley. And we are, amazingly, it is a small world sometimes. Because Ian uh, was in lines with my father at the Sandbank Lions Club for a few years and as you saw from the previous YouTube with Lila Cameron, Lila was also in Lions and it's not a uh, Lions conspiracy to take over Tennis Queensland, um, it is just the, uh, the luck of the draw. So Ian has uh, kindly agreed to loan Tennis Queensland some of this absolutely fabulous memorabilia here from his mother's tennis playing days and it is uh, a great collection because it goes right back into the 30s and certainly late 40s when Ian's mother was at her tennis playing peak. Uh, and the first thing Ian that really captures my attention is this wonderful Commonwealth um, medal here which I think is uh, uh, would be very very rare um, and was also presented in Milton. Uh, so if you'd just like to give us a little bit of a background on that one. Yeah this is the uh the Commonwealth Jubilee Bronze Medal that was presented to my mother uh, at the, uh, the Milton Q QLTA Milton Clubhouse uh, around about uh, December 1951. Yeah. Uh, she obtained that for her, uh, her efforts uh, it, well, as a, a member of the, uh, the Queensland Catholic Lawn Tennis Association, of which she was uh, a champion uh, singles player for many years and also uh, mixed doubles and uh, men's doubles. Yeah, no, it's just a great little piece of uh, history linking in Fruit Park and Milton. And also then what really uh, caught my eye as well were these two um, annual tr fixtures trophy, 1946, is that? 1946 and yep, 1947. 1947. Should have put my glasses on. Um, and what I'll do is that uh, some of these I've already got as photos and I'll actually clip them into the end of the YouTube so people can have a little bit of a uh, closer look. If you'd just like to tell us a little bit of the history of that, uh, those two um, trophy awards as well, that would be great. Yeah, well, these awards were uh, presented to, uh, as the, uh, the winners of the, uh, the fixtures or the, the team. The, for uh, I think it was in, in this particular one, it was for uh, mixed A uh, in Brisbane, and uh, in 1947, uh, Mum was a member of the Kuya Tennis Club, and uh, this she was the winner in this, the side for pennant grade section reserve, which was the top mixed grade in those particular years. Yeah. Now at that particular time, uh, she played tennis with um, such players as uh, Arthur Little and Elf Chave and uh, possibly one of her best doubles players or one of the players she played most of her mixed doubles with was Noel Morden. Yes, and I'll, I'll clip a lot of these photos in to the end of it as well and uh, we can ref reference them. The, uh, the next thing that I just want to talk to which just shows you Queensland's unique, uh, is this 1935 uh, photo, which was from Bundaberg, wasn't well, it? Yeah, Mum originally, this is when she was single, and she played under the name of Iris Johnson, which was her, her single name, and uh, she was a, a tennis 
player of note back in Bundaberg. Many champions came from Bundaberg over the years. Um, um, well, it was the hometown of Hitler. Yes. And yes. Uh, also uh, uh, such great cricket players as uh, Don Talon yeah. came from, from Bundaberg. So uh, there's a little bit of history there. There well, is quite a lot of history. Um, and so, uh, lastly, what we have to refer to is the, is the replica trophy. I know it's not the original. Um, so if you just want to talk to the, uh, the replica trophy, because that, that then as well links in World War II, because it's just a great little bit of history, especially the, um, the tribute that's on the uh, trophy itself. Yeah, the, the actual inscription on this, it was, uh, was the Australian Catholic Law and Tennis Association Memorial Trophy. And this is the re re replica of the original cup, which uh, understandably was quite quite bigger. Mm -hmm. Mum held the original cup for 12 months, and uh, that we had in our house or our home in Arkwright Street at Wellers Hill in those days. And no doubt our 24 hour garden, I think, is that? I would think so, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But the inscription uh, on the cup says it was donated in memory of members who lost their lives. Uh, in active service 1939 to 1945 and was awarded to the lady with the best individual performance during the annual Interstate Carnival in Brisbane in 1949. And on the, back, on the back of this cup is an inscription, Brisbane 1949, uh, Mrs Iris McCauley, Queensland. Yep. And uh, that's substantiated by a paper clipping. Yes, no, which will also clip into the... Uh... YouTube. Ian, this has been absolutely fantastic. Um, what we might do is just call uh, a halt to this part of it and we'll just uh, review um, the YouTube and review the history that we've got here uh, and we may come back in a second for a second bite of the cherry, so to speak. Uh, Ian, thank you so much. This Thanks, Peter. Yeah. Uh, and we'll just see how we go. Thank you.